Hey YouTube, we've got a slightly different job today. Now as you can see, I've finished installing the Aero 201 high side exhaust. However, I'm not going to use the rear can. I would like to be able to have symmetrical pannier racks on this bike. And if I have the rear can set up, it actually will impede me from doing that. The installation was fairly straightforward and I've got a video on that if you'd like to watch it. But now that I've changed the airflow of the bike, it's running rich. What I want to do today is reset any adaptation that the ECU has learned from the prior exhaust to see if that isn't going to help. I already think I have the best map for my setup installed and if that doesn't work I'll reach out to Triumph Twin Power and see if they can't help me out. The other thing that I want to do today is I want to check the balance of my throttle bodies. Now you can see one of the throttle bodies here each one of these units provides the air to fuel mixture that ends up in the corresponding piston. The Triumph Twin Power software enables us to check the HPA of each piston independently. Per specification, the pistons are supposed to be within 10 HPA of each other. I'm thinking that my left piston is running a little soft. We're going to load up the Triumph Twin Power software, gauge where the pistons are at and also reset that ECU adaptation. This is a very simple job for anyone with basic computer skills, so let's get started. We're going to start by taking our seat off and setting that to the side. Now, if you've not taken a seat off of your bike yet, oh, who am I kidding? You've taken your seat off millions of times. Here are all the various connectors uh, that the seat hides. The one we're most interested in today is going to be this OBD2 cable right here. This is the actual port that interfaces with the ECU and allows the Triumph Twin Power software to get the various sensor readings off of the bike. If you purchase a map from Triumph Twin Power, you'll get the TTP software in a zip file. You'll need to unzip that file into a folder on your machine so you can run it. First and foremost, I'm going to recommend that you read in its entirety the Tune Loader User Guide. This is going to provide you with step-by-step -step instructions for how to use the software, whether you're doing a new map, resetting the ECU, or just wanting to monitor. Secondly, when you crack open the User Guide, you need to download the drivers for your ODB2 cable. A link to find the drivers for the cable that Triumph Twin Power provides is listed right in the user guide. You have to do this first. With your drivers installed, you'll simply connect your ODB2 cable to your laptop via a USB port. You can find an OBD2 cable at most automotive stores or certainly online. But why would you? Triumph Twin Power sells a cable that works. It's competitively priced and it's what they use for their software. Now, I don't get paid from Triumph Twin Power, I'm not paying me to do this at all, but I'm a huge advocate because I've used this a couple of times on two different bikes and it's not failed me. And if you're like me, I just like shit that works, and this does. Pro tip, some of these processes, especially if you're loading a tune, is gonna take some time. Make sure you bring a power adapter for your laptop. With our cable plugged into our laptop, the next step is to actually plug in the ODB2 cable to the ODB2 port on the bike. And these are keyed to match a specific way, and you can't really mess this up. Per the instructions, we're going to turn the key to the on position and then turn on the engine kill switch, but not start the bike up. Next, we're going to start the tune loader software. Now, in a Windows based machine, I like to run this as an administrator, and you can do that by right clicking on the software and selecting the run as administrator option. If you're running a Windows-based installation, you're probably going to get a user account control error where Windows isn't really sure who the publisher of this software is. 
Uh, this is just to prevent viruses or malware from being installed on your machine, but this software is safe. So we're just going to go ahead and let it run. Now, when the software loads up, you'll notice in the bottom right hand corner a flashing light. This is the signal strength indicator between the laptop and the bike. Once the OBD2 connection has been established, you'll see that it starts flashing green, and that means you can start using the software. If you're going to load a map, you would start that process by using the start button here. But I just want to monitor the engine output. So in order to do that, I actually need to start the bike. All right, YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Throttle bodies are balanced and the bike is running great. Hopefully this has also solved the fueling issues where the bike was running a little rich. I'll have to ride it for a while to be able to determine that. Thanks again for watching. Please like the video, share the video for more reviews, installations, and just general tips on the air-cooled Triumphs.